We've got a, a makeup moment going on here for it's kind of interesting you need to know about. You know, back in the day, there was a product called Streaks and Tips, and it was made by the Nestle's company, I believe. Yes, N-E-S-T-L-E-S. Nestle's makes the very best. I don't know. I don't know if it's the same Nestle's company or it could have been Nestle, right? Nestle Streaks and Tips. But in any event, it was streaks and tips. And we used to use it to spray the tops of bald heads. You know, if there was a bald spot, we'd spray it with medium brown or light brown or dark brown or black, depending on the color of the surrounding hair, to uh, make that, that bald spot disappear on camera. And it, the, the hairsprays, obviously, were colored hairsprays, and they could be used also to color the hair. I can remember doing uh, um, the Missiles of October uh, at ABC Television. And uh, I did um, one of the performers there um, uh, offhand, I can't recall his name. And, and uh, in fact, he was in, in one of the original Wolfman films. Uh, and maybe it'll come to me. But um, uh, he was playing McNamara, the Secretary of Defense, during the Cuban Missile Crisis uh, in that, that um, very historic uh, show that we did, which was the first show that had to do with the missiles of October or the, or the, the Cuban uh, Bay of Pigs incident. And um, uh, Ralph Bellamy, see I knew it would come to me, <laughs> Ralph Bellamy, and it was my pleasure to do Ralph Bellamy's makeup. And it was a thrill because, you know, I'd known him and, and his name from the original Wolfman films, right? But I didn't tell him that. I didn't want to sound like a, uh, like a, a, a fan, you know? So I did his, his makeup, but part of it was having to dye, a, having a light in his hair. And he, would, he came in and his hair was tinted, right, so that it didn't look silver or, you know, as it was naturally. And it was my job to make it look the way that, it, we wanted it to look, which was silver, you know, whitish silver. So I would take, you know, and I would part the hair, you know, piece by piece by piece by piece, and then I would sp spray the silver, the uh, streaks and tips in silver and white, and then comb it through, you know, brush it through, put it on with a toothbrush. Actually, I would spray it into the cap, then take a dye brush and put it on with a dye brush. And uh, Ben and I had shown me how to take a bristle toothbrush and to cut into the bristle toothbrush, which we'll be showing you at another time. And that'll be another makeup moment, but that's how the, the, the Nestle's streaks and tips of white and silver was applied to Ralph Bellamy's hair. And if you ever get a chance to see that, and I think it's available on, on DVD, it's called The Missiles of October. And it's not the film, it is, it's, uh, it's not the, you know, the film that's been recently done. It was the very first production, and uh, Robert Duvall, and it's just an incredible cast. Uh, and so anyway, that, that was the use of the Nestle streaks and tips for whitening the hair. And what we had, and I believe those products are still available. I'm not absolutely certain, but if you go into a pharmacy in the United States or in Canada, perhaps, or maybe even in Europe, for all that, that matter, you may be able to find the Nestle streaks and tips in a myriad of colors. And I know that they make these colors right here, and there are several other colors that they make, and they call these uh, Fright Night. Fright Night, and they put these out for, for Halloween. They're marketed for Halloween use. And there is a Rotten Red, right? A Black Fog, <laughs> Slimy Lime, and uh, Gory Grape. All right, so these are just an example of a few of the colors that the Streaks and Tips company uh, manufactures specifically for Halloween use. But you know, you, know you, you, you may not be able to purchase this except around Halloween time. So if you know that you're going to be doing monster type makeups where these colors would be very convenient uh, and necessary, you may want to stock up on these at Halloween time so that you have, you have them throughout the rest of the year. Then, now, you remember I just now told you about how we used to cover bald spots? Well, these colors, these products right here, uh, are specifically intended for that. There's a picture of a fellow here with a bald spot and then they, they show it, you know, afterwards, before and after of it sprayed out. And this is called Spray On Hair and it's made by Jerome Russell. And again, these are able to be purchased um, in uh, most of your professional makeup supply houses. And uh, they are from, uh, the Jerome Russell Company is in Chatsworth, California. And so that you have this information, their telephone number, and you'll see it at the bottom of the screen here, is 818-701-5192. Hmm, I didn't do bad without my glasses. So this is the Jerome Russell spray-on hair, and I have here a brown blonde, a medium brown, and a dark brown. And I'm sure it comes in many more colors than that. 
so you can check that out. And the, um, the last one I have here is also from Jerome Russell, and apparently they make a, a line also of color hairsprays, or colored hairsprays, and uh, this particular one here is a natural color highlight. All right, so I would imagine that you spray this onto the hair to, to have the high points of the waves reflect more light, all right? like Harry Thomas's tonicity. Do you remember that makeup moment? You know, it's, it's important that you, you watch MUA TV consistently because if you do, you're going to get one humdinger of an education <laughs> because there's a lot of information that we're giving you throughout all of our weekly broadcasts, all right? And if you remember, if you see it all and you write all this stuff down and you remember all this stuff, uh, you're going to have uh, a lot more uh, information at your disposal and obviously um, it will help you in your makeup work considerably. All right, so there you have a few products that I think you should know about. Another MUA TV makeup moment.